So ladies and gentlemen, every single week I seem to find myself asking the question, is Elon Musk the world's stupidest billionaire or is he the world's best troll? Is this a super long con game where he takes on this persona of the egotistical billionaire to show how, firstly, no one should ever have that much money or that much power and how people will blindly follow and praise these billionaires no matter what they do, just because they are rich. I'm definitely leaning towards the former. He's definitely, I think he's definitely the world's stupidest billionaire. And every week he seems to do something that is exceedingly stupid, and even more stupid than what he did the week before. I made a video a couple of weeks back about his decision to limit the amount of tweets that you can view on Twitter. That didn't last very long. But this is a this is a whole litany of, of things that ever since he bought Twitter... He's just gone on this downward spiral, this egotistical drive to put his own stamp on everything, to change things for the sake of changing them because he thinks he knows best. Whether that's been Twitter blue, whether that's been changing it so that subscribed people will always show up first on comments, meaning that you always get the racist bots, spammers, you know, the homophobes showing up first and foremost on a feed, um, or whether it's what he's done most recently which is to go and rebrand one of the world's most recognisable companies, and certainly, I think, the most recognisable social media company, because he likes the letter X. And this isn't the first time he's tried to rebrand something to X.com. Back in, I think it was 2000, he tried to rebrand his um, online um, payment platform to X.com. And as a result... He got kicked off of the board of directors of that particular company and they renamed it PayPal, which now is synonymous. You know, it's 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 a, a brand that everybody knows. And so when the news of this came out, I thought he cannot be serious. He cannot be serious. He cannot be wanting to change the name and the branding of something that is so ingrained in the fabric of our society. It's like someone wanting to change the name of McDonald's to... Ted's. It, it, it doesn't make sense. The, I mean, the big chunk of Twitter's value is tied into its branding. The idea that you say to someone, I, I saw a tweet, and they know instantly what it means. They know instantly what site you're referring to. Like I say, it's deeply ingrained in our society. But now, Elon Musk has decided that he wants to rebrand Twitter as X. Now, I don't know if he's going to call it Twitter X or if he's just going to call it X.com. He hasn't really... Again, this 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 feels to me like it's not a very well thought out plan. It's an Elon Musk plan. It's a, I had this idea. I'm going to do it without thinking. And you can see already that Elon used to have the little bird icon right next to his name. And now it's an X icon. I'm not talking about in the avatar. I'm talking about in the actual... Um, the act Next to his verified check mark. And I just don't, I mean, clearly I'm not on the level of intelligence of a billionaire, but I don't understand the reasoning or the benefits behind this rebranding. A lot of the company's value is tied into its brand. Hence why whenever you see a takeover of a large company, it almost never, ever gets rebranded. And a lot of people have been making comparisons to uh, New Coke because New Coke was obviously a big rebranding attempt by Coca-Cola back in the 80s, failed miserably. Did Elon Musk take those lessons on board? Absolutely not. Now he's wanting to change one of the most recognizable show social media platforms and make it sound more like a porn site. Uh, seriously, x.com. If I was to say that to you without any context, you'd think porn site. And someone raised the funny idea that now... Is it going to be videos on Twitter are going to be called X videos? Because I'm fairly certain that's a porn site. And so this obsession with Elon Musk and the letter X, like I say, it goes back in history. Um, It's something that I, de I think demonstrates again his lack of awareness and the lack of business sense. And it just seems like every single week he goes more and more into this degeneracy of, well, I know it best. I'm Elon Musk, and I have to put my own personal stamp on this because I'm Elon Musk. And I think to myself, why didn't he just create his own social media platform? 
you know, save himself $44 billion, which he's never going to get back now. I mean, again, this feels like the sinking ship syndrome. This feels like, you know, the poison chalice. It's almost as if he recognizes the fact that Twitter is losing money hand over foot. Advertisers are abandoning ship, you know, ever since he took over because of the silly, silly mistakes he's made. And now he's trying to get away from that by rebranding. Typically, that that's one of the reasons why a company will rebrand is because the old brand is a poison chalice. And so you need to move away from it. However, Twitter, I wouldn't say directly has that, you know, poison chalice element to it, at least not yet. It's still recoverable. The way that you recover Twitter's reputation and bring those advertisers back is for Elon Musk to step down. He can still own the company, but do not have any influence on the decision making and the day to day operations. That's how you start to recover that back. Stop trying to make things in your own image. Stop trying to justify stupid decisions. I saw another one that they said they were going to limit the amount of DMs that, you know, uh, unsubscribed people could send. And, you know, people, rightly so, were saying, well, who does this change benefit? Well, who, who, you know, for, for the most part, you know, people can turn off their DMs, you know, to stop spam. Um, and only have people who follow them or they follow uh, be allowed to DM them. And it's, it's almost like Elon Musk doesn't understand the very site that he's purchased. And so I foresee that this rebranding is either going to be temporary. Uh, he's going to backtrack and it will be a a slight rebranding, you know, and it'll still remain Twitter in name um, or it'll just completely not take place. You know, um, he'll he'll be pressured by the people who actually know what to do um, and then he will back down. But this is Elon Musk, so I'm not I'm not 100 percent certain. But again, it's, it's just another example of money does not make you smart. Um, you know, being a success in the business world is not necessarily always down to your own intelligence. And I think certainly with Elon Musk, he's proven that time and time and time again, that he is someone who has just had money, had some baseline ideas, and has employed people smarter than him to try and enact those ideas. And half the time it's worked out well, half the time it hasn't. He's made a lot of money on the backs of other people's work. Um, on the and on the back of already being rich and now he's wasting that fortune on a silly egotistical um you know project that he never needed to get himself involved with but i i expect that a lot of people jump to his defense a lot of people who are very poor who think that elon musk is the idea of a successful person just because he's a billionaire but again think about all of this energy and effort that he's putting in how much could it benefit you know, other areas of life. I mean, it doesn't matter. He's a transphobe. He's, you know, a Russian um, asset. So it doesn't really matter, you know. But uh, I just think it's 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 hilarious how we've allowed one of the most ingrained social media tools to be taken over by a dumbass. He really is. He is the world's stupidest billionaire. 